I believe that knowing how something works inside and out is a key thing to understanding. And the whole point of PacoBots is to learn. I'm Mike Gomick, I'm an inventor. I would say that uh, I'm a professional software developer, but uh, I branched out into mechanical and electrical engineering. And uh, it's just something that I love is machines. So the PacoBots are an awesome little robot that is hackable. I started with the IBM X Prize. It's a cash reward for winning or coming up with the ultimate solution for uh, AI. And we wanted to do uh, teacher's assistance in the classroom. Robots will be in the background. They'll be listening, actively listening to the teacher. And then what the teacher is teaching, they're going to uh, reinforce with the kids during playtime. So if they're doing colors, uh, they would do color games. Or if they're doing uh, numbers, they would try doing counting. Robotics is a real big, interesting hook for STEM education. Hack School is an after-school program uh, that was started by our organization called uh, the Hot and New Collective. Basically, it's a makerspace that is socially conscious. And so what we want to do is design and build things that affect and impact the community. We're really excited about the design of the PacoBots. I think just the, uh, the aesthetics appeal to it is really big. Um, showing it to our, our students and even the teachers here at Strive are like they saw it and they were just blown away by just the, the cuteness factor, I think is a real big thing. Um, and it really illustrates just some of the ways that we can take a design, break it up into modules, right? So the, the front end, the back end, and then the wheels, and 3D print that. Uh, the other thing is that since it's open source, it allows the students to then open and take those files and manipulate them um, and adapt them. My background, my degree, is actually in art and sculpture. Most of my work is um, drawing on tablets and uh, getting as many sketches done as I can. In the creative process, iterations are key. If you can get through many iterations quickly, you're going to come with a much better design. And with the Taz, that, that was super fast. The process used to be you would sit down and work with wood or some other malleable material. And then uh, you would try to find parts online to kind of assemble. But with 3D printing, you don't have to search anymore. For instance, the tire. If I had to search on Amazon for this, I'd be there endless. It'd be endless time. But you don't have to. You can create it out of CAD very quickly and print it out and see how it works. I pretty much mix the TAS with the design. So I make a couple iterations, see how things look, and then I make moves from there. Having the manual control, uh, being able to do things that really weren't meant for 3D printing and being able to pull them off. That's what made it a very, very useful tool.